Hey everyone, welcome back to Tycoon Game Dev. I think that's what it is. I don't have it up in front of me and I already forget the title of this game. Oh, so professional, right guys? Okay, so we're gonna get back in. We just developed a game and we have two new records, yes. So let's see. Oh, we can get a joystick. We might do that for computer. I think that would be a good one. Okay, come on, come on game. There we go. First new reviews came in. Come on, fingers crossed. Oh, 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 nine. Yes, we got a nine. Is there gonna be a 10? Eight, okay. This one's probably gonna be an eight, then two, and then probably a seven. Yep. And you'll be a seven. Oh, you gave me a nine. Holy balls. Holy balls. They gave me a nine. I made them happy. Holy shit. Uh, I clicked you. Awesome. Okay, so let's see how it does. I, want to, I totally want to see how this ranks. Oh, look at it go. Look at it go. Bam. That's not bad. Okay, so what can we research? Because we've got a ton of research points. Um, I know I want to do that one. Start research. I don't really know if I want to do target audience yet. Just because, I mean, it's really early on. So, I don't know. I'll think about it. It is a surprise hit with players. The developer Scottish Frog is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. And casual games. Cool. Although, I don't even really know what casual games are. <laughs> like, I just, I just play video games. And a mouse. Oh, yeah, we should probably do that too. So let's do that. We will research mouse. Start research. Oh, man. That game did pretty good. I mean, not 100. I didn't even see what its rank was the first week. Damn it. I'll have to go back and see that. I really want to see that. Recent market data shows that the Governor 64 seems to slowly be slowly losing market share against other PC manufacturers. Yeah, like I said, it did really good for a while and then it just kind of died out. An unofficial, well, an unofficial statement, a G64 employee said that the company has been unsuccessful in introducing higher priced computers to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. Yeah, I don't actually really know exactly what happened with them, but like I said, I know that they just kind of died out. Um, let's see, target audience. Uh, let's get a new topic in. Let's do science fiction. And we will start research. And then at some point, I know you can do sequels. I wonder if you have to research sequels. I can't remember. I think you probably have to research them. It's off the market and, oh, cool. That's not bad. That's a good amount of money. Okay, research is complete. Okay. So let's develop a new game. We're going to top it. Let's do a science fiction. Should we do an event? No, I think we're going to stick with action. And we're going to put this one on the PC as well. And we're going to use our splurge engine. Oh, we've got to name it. Um, so what is it? Science fiction, right? Um, how about just new planets? P oh. oh, come on. I hit the shift. N-E-W-P-L-A-N-E-T-S. Okie dokie. Yep, there we go. Maybe this one will do really well. I kind of like trying out new things because I don't know how they're going to do. Uh, probably maybe about there, maybe about there. Drop you down a bit. Let's try that. I have no idea. I have no idea for this one. Okay, dialogues. Action, so there should be some dialogues. Level design. Um, yeah, I think level design should be fairly high. I think I'm gonna leave that there. So let's see how this does. Yeah, like I have no idea what to put into action games. Like for me, I think of like an action game kind of as like a side scroller. World design. Let's get you up a bit. Sound. Sure, let's get sound up and let's get the graphics down a bit, I guess. There we go, let's try that. 
Oh, I didn't even look at the stuff on the side. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, today Nintendo has announced that they will introduce a portable gaming device called the GameLink. And of course, that is the Game Boy. The device comes with chargeable game cartridges, a monochrome screen on a green background, built-in speakers, and even a multiplayer support via a connection cable. This, oh man, I wished I had this so bad when I was a kid. The, uh, the first handheld gaming thing I ever got, I actually bought when I was an adult, so <laughs> yeah. But I actually got to play these through uh, my friends, and my god, the, the you people do not realize, unless you've played on these, how fucking spoiled you are these days, with all the light up screens, and now the touch screens on them, and more than the two buttons, like, oh my gosh, you have no idea. <laughs> Unless you play it on the Game Boys, the old, old Game Boys, you have no idea. Okay, do we have another one to do, or is that the last one? I guess that's the last one, isn't it? Ten bugs, holy balls. Come on, pump these bugs out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. That's good. Oh, fuck, I thought that was another bug coming out. I was gonna be like, no! Is that a new record? Yes, it is. New topic, new combo. Ah, it's a great combo again. Woohoo! So sci-fi action is a great combo. When I think of sci-fi action, I think of like the old Duke Nukem games, like the, the what is it, the 2D side-scrolling ones? Not the 3D ones, but the, the really, really old ones. I used to play those a lot. Level editor. And better AI. Cool. Probably. Oh, well, I don't really know if we need to get the level editor. I mean, those are cool. What was it? I think it was called Jetpack or something like that, where you got to make your own levels. First reviews came out. Let's see. How would we do? Seven, eight. Eight's not bad. So we're probably going to get two sevens and maybe another eight. Oh, we got a nine. Yeah. We're doing good again. Another nine and probably another eight. That's not bad. Played it for days. Cool. So, and the game link has been released. So let's see, I'm actually gonna watch it this time because I wanna see where we rank. Rank eight. Oh wow, that's pretty good. We got within the top 10, that is awesome. Achieved with over 50,000 units sold. Nice. Holy shit, that is awesome. Well, I guess if we have more fans, right? More people are gonna buy our stuff. With over a hundred thousand units sold. Oh my gosh, wow. Okay. So let's do some more research. Um, new topic, casual games, better AI. I think we're gonna go with better AI. Just so that way when we go to make our next one, we can really pump some stuff into it. Informed Gamer gave it a nine, saying sci-fi and action is a great combination. Yay, we might become the new fan favorite. So I think that's an important thing with trying the new combinations and whatnot. You make quite a name for yourself. You've saved up a lot of capital. If you want to grow the company further, move into a new office is the next step. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. We've hit over a million. That was actually really fast. I didn't think we would. <laughs> Yay. Welcome to your new office. Now that you have a bigger office, you can also hire staff and forge a class world development team to make even better games. Okie dokie. And not yet. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Interest going in video games. There is also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a great new way for game, develop game developers to market their upcoming games. Arr, marketing. Okay. Thank you. So let's do marketing. We'll go. Where is it? Marketing. And then, can I actually? No, I can't get you to do anything else while we're there. Uh, let's see. You have to complete the staff management training. Yeah, that makes sense. So we're gonna sit here for a while, guys. Oh, it's got my name on the side. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, and we've got, um, um, uh, I can't even think of the name right now. But we have this game here. That's so cute. <laughs> New Planets is off the market and it's sold, with generating over a million in sales. Well, there we go, guys. We hit my goal of hitting the half million. We went way beyond it. 
awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, staff management. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Monthly costs. So we have to hurry up and get this done or else we're going to end up not making money and just losing money left, right, and center. And we certainly don't want to go bankrupt. Yay, we can hire our first employee. Okie dokie. Um, oh, I don't know what... Ah, come on! Okay, well... Let's put our budget up to... 50? Where's 50? I want 50, thank you. Um, I guess complex algorithm algorithms? Uh, how about complex words? Jesus. <laughs> really, it's not that complex, I know, but my tongue did not want to say it. We're gonna do them first. I think we're just gonna go one, two, three. Okay. So he wants 21 a month, speed research, design, and tech. He's got really good tech. Oh, we only have two though. Um, not so good, but you are cheaper. Speed is 171. Speed is a lot better. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with the more expensive person just because everything is better. Except for their design, but I mean, they've got way more technology compared to Nancy Clark. Maybe next time, Nancy. Medium games. Oh, what's a medium game? Uh, I have no idea what a medium game is. The Vina. Yeah, see, so this was the Game Gear, which unfortunately did not do as well as it could have. I think its price was just way too much because it was, in my knowledge, the first color gaming handheld console and it had great sound to it. I'm pretty sure it even had the backlighting as well. But because of that, it was very expensive. Yeah, which don't come close to the gaming consoles near the Vina Game Gear, or Vina Gear will basically be the full power of the Master B, except you can take it with you. Yeah, it has a full color screen. Will this device topple the game wing? We will see. Yeah, no, it did not. Just because the uh, Game Boy was cheaper. And it already had a whole bunch of games out for it too. And the games were amazing. I mean, the games that the um, Game Gear came out with just weren't that great. Like, I think it came out with, well, it definitely came out with Sonic, uh, back when Sonic was good. Uh, and it had, I think, Echo the Dolphin, a Street Fighter game, and there's a couple more that I just, I don't remember. Probably had like Mortal Kombat too. Uh, I've just uh, discovered some really dedicated fans of Space Quest have created a fan game using a lot of the material from our game. They don't make money with it and just seem to do it for fellow fans. Just let them be. Let them make their fun games. That's awesome. Okay, so. Does this mean we're overworked? Or I, I can't remember which is which. And of course, I don't have a tutorial. Why can I not make a game? Oh, I have to train you, don't I? Staff, welcome. I guess we have to research. Level editor, medium games. I don't know what a medium game is, but I guess we'll do that. No, we can't do that. Why can't I research? Oh, because I only have six. That would be why. So why can't I make a new game? Developer for Space Quest fan game. I've recently been informed that your legal department has advised you to stop us. And I just want to say that I'm very grateful that you didn't. Scottish Frog is the best company in the world, and I'm glad to be part of the fan community. Yeah, you've gained 165 fans. Yeah, like, and I mean, I understand the whole legality stuff of everything. Like, you have to have the, the copyrights and everything. But I mean, if somebody's making something for you just because they like you that much, then just let it go. Like, it's not that big of a deal and you're just gonna piss them off. Okay, so it's been released. Okay, can we make, why can I not make a game? Oh, there we go, develop new game. Um, staff list, we're going to develop a new game. I think we're going to go back with our sci-fi action again. And we're going to call it, oh, on the computer. And we're going to call it... Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll put it on the test. And we're gonna call it, let's see, sci-fi. Um, laser fight. 
L A S E R. Oh, there's that. I don't think my shift key is working that well. There we go. And of course, we want our splurge engine. And we want that. This time, I gotta try and remember to keep an eye on the stuff that pops up at the side. Um, do we want the gamepad? Yeah, sure. Put the gamepad on it. Um, we'll just leave that all the same because it should be the same from last time. I think we're going to push up level design a bit more. So maybe that's where we fell short last time. I think that would probably be it. Oh, look, we've already lost 100,000 just sitting in training. Christ almighty, basic series. Okay, so everything here is fine. Um, graphics, we're going to push the graphics up a bit more too. Actually, let's just pump it all the way up. We'll see how this does. Because it'd be cool if we could get like the tens across the board. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Be cool if we could get it. Three, two, one, and there we go. Oh, come on! You bastard! New record! Woohoo! Let's speed this up. Oh, and we leveled up! Yeah, we are level three. Fucking released a bug! Two months G64 will be taken off the market. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. First reviews for a new. Ugh, newly released game, Laser Fight came in. Let's see, what do we have? Uh, oh, I think it's gone down, hasn't it? Okay, so I haven't done something quite right. That's fine, I mean, it's still a decent game by the looks of the ratings. And they loved it too, so that's not bad. Let's see, research. That's not what I want. Okay, find contract work, create custom engine, game history. Yes, yeah, seven and a half. That was eight and a half. Maybe it's just because I put it on the test instead of the computer. That's always possible. Let's research, train, and fire. <laughs> Let's not fire you because I don't want to do that. Um, let's see, what do we want to do? New topic, maybe? Law, prison, comedy. Um, Pirate? Nah. Medium games. That's a lot for that. Holy. Um, I guess we'll go casual. No, we won't. We only have 17 research. Okay. Let's train you then. Um, I guess this one? Oh, is this? No, it just tells me what they have. Okay, so I'm not sure what these ones focus on. Let me get you train as well, I guess. Let's get you doing that one, we can think. At some point, don't I have to send my employees on vacation? So the governor was filed for bankruptcy. Yeah. It was too bad that they had to shut down. Like I said, they had some great gaming things. I remember just playing on them for like hours. Of course, I think I was like three or four at the time. <laughs> we released one game for the platform. Yeah. Let's see if we can find some contract work. Four weeks. Yeah, sure, let's try that one. Should be able to get this one. Go ahead, you can pump some into that too. Thank you. We're just really trying to get our research to go up. Laser fight is off the market. Yeah, see, it didn't do that well. Okay, some more contract work. Three weeks, five weeks. Let's do the five weeks. Because we got two guys that are able to do tech pretty good. Yeah, scene design's already done. Got some more research points. And I guess we'll do the last one. Hopefully we can get it. Accept contract. Oh boy. We might not be able to. Why are you stopping? Go! Go! You bastard! You bastard. Fuck, yeah, no. Fuck. Fuck. 
Oh well. Okay, we got some more research points. So, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!